going to dark and decrepit this board. So D&D is um, such a versatile product. It can be used as a stain, as a glaze. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking a sponge brush because it will... Um, It will make easier work of this project. So you can see already, and I did sand this. I can see where I didn't sand it good enough on that top edge, but it should make too much of a difference. And it's just really applying just a really beautiful stain to the wood. And I'm not being real particular about what direction I go in. is I'm going to use Sandy Blonde and I'm going to use the Sunflower Stamp. So always look at the packaging on the IOD products because they give you such wonderful ideas. And this is just a great layout suggestion on here. Okay, what I want to do with this, let me set all these on my computer here is I want so I'm going to copy this idea and this is bigger than what I'm using but I'm going to put this one with the stem down in there let's get that out of the way so I'm going to do that right there that's what I'm going to start with I'm going to take Sandy Blonde. So I like to just put my paint in a row when I'm using the brayer. So with the brayer, you want it coated, but you don't want it dripping. So I got quite a bit on there. Yeah, you know what? I'm okay with that. So then I'm just going to go over this. Like some bright light, huh? And I'm going to, um, I guess I'll just do another coat. I was going to offload it so I got a deeper impression, but I'll just do another coat. Okay, now I'm going to take this and put it right there. Now, because I have rubber gloves on, they're going to want to stick to this, which would cause my stamp to shift. So I'm just going to use a paper towel. And I really do want a good impression, but I'll live with kind of whatever happens here. Okay, so now I'm going to take the stem. And of course, I need this masked. Because I want it, whatever you want in the foreground is what needs the mask. So I'm going to dry this for a hot minute. But I don't want my paint to dry, so I'm going to hold that up out of the way. I do not. So now what I want to do is I want to lay the mask down. And there's a matte side and a shiny side. The shiny side typically is the side that goes up. And then I'm just using my little cheat sheet sitting right by me. I'm just going to put the stem in that area. Yes. So I'm going to take my plastic sheet back. Look at you being a good girl protecting everything. I'm trying, I'm trying. All right, and then I'm just going to put this, because I have the mask, I don't need to worry about any overlap. Okay, so next would be a couple of leaves. See, they have a much bigger leaf on the other side. 
So I think I'm going to put this one here like that. Okay. Now I say, okay, like I'm, you know, really waiting for a response, which we all know I'm not. Uh, I think I'm going to bring the tip of this right in here. Just the little tip of that. I don't need to make rocket science out of it. It looks so pretty just on the screen right here already, Lisa. All right, so now I'm going to slide this down, and I want to bring this in here. I'm just going to bring it in there. Now I just need something for the corner here. So let's see, I think there are a couple of big leaves. I think I'll just bring that in right there. So if you're just joining, this is about 11 by 12. I wanted it to be 12 by 12, but um, my board was already pre-cut a certain dimension okay so I'm gonna dry that so you guys I really 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 could see leaving this I could see I could see coming to look using clear liquid patina with the Gregory paint inlay over the top of this might be really cool too Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I like that. Okay, we're just going to, we're going to do it. We know that, we know that we like this. There's no question. I'm going to ask Pam to spray it for me real quickly. All right, so what I'm going to do is to shorten this up, I'm going to cut out a couple of rows. You really want to make sure you got a good wet coat when you do a paint in white. So it's nice because that white of the clear liquid patina is showing up nicely. So I'm just going to put the first one on. I'm going to line it up with the edge is what my hope is. Do I happen to have a brayer that I haven't used yet? No, I think that is in the bathroom. In the bathroom? Yeah, being washed. Oh. All right, so I've got that all attached. And now I'm going to smooth it out with my blue shot cloth. And the um, clear liquid patina transfers quickly. So now I need to get the bottom part on. You want to make sure you have really good contact. So that's why I'm using the brayer. So there were so many things we could have done with this. Now I'm just spritzing wherever I have paint. I want to coax that inlay off the sheet. Um, I've got a problem right here because it is. Yeah. Okay. 
now we're okay. And now I want to dry it. Now I'm okay with an ink transfer. Like I don't need it to be, I don't need it to be, wow, it looks like you painted it right on there, Lisa. Like I don't need that. So I want to dry it just until it's grayed out. You certainly do not want it to dry as part of it. Okay. And then I'm just going to test it up there. And this part's important because you want to make sure that the paint releases from the carrier paper. You don't want it to pull the paint off. So when it starts pulling, like it is right now, I'm just going to wet it. I love the music for you. It just is it's so incredible. I can feel it pulling, which is, you know, my first gut instinct is to just rip it, and that's dumb, Lisa. Okay, there's one. And... I'll get this one off. I have learned so much since these first came out. So I did not get a good transfer where I didn't have good contact, and I'm okay with that. If it really, really bothered me, I could just paint it in. When I use wording like this, it's very important to me not to be able to read it. And I know that that sounds stupid, but I want people to look at the entire aesthetic. I don't want them to be reading what it says when there was no purpose to the writing. Like, it doesn't represent anything to me. I was just going for pretty. And I think that this is like, yeah. I think it's super pretty. Like, I so love it. Yep. I could use the D&D &D over the top and get that tone on tone look, but I don't want to. I like it just like this. So this is Gregory's catalog. And I'm going to take black velvet and paint the sides. Now, this is a great candidate for little black dress, to be honest with you, because that's a black black. So, and I think I'm, I think I'm, I'm good with this, you guys. guys. So I will um, dry it and then wipe that black edge just a little bit and then I'll seal it.